channel. So today's video is going to be a makeup tutorial on the look I'm wearing right now. It's a very glamorous fall makeup look. I think it is definitely appropriate for like a night out or a big party because we've got a lot going on here. We've got full on like smoky glitter eyes with big lashes and then this beautiful dark lip. So this is definitely not your everyday makeup. It's definitely for something more fancy. So yeah, the rest of this video is going to be a voiceover, but I hope you enjoy it. Please give it a thumbs up if you do. Subscribe to my channel if you're not already so that you won't miss out on any of my other videos and I'll see you all in my next one. Bye guys, love you. Hey guys, so I'm starting off with a clean face and my brows are already done and I've already primed my eyes so check the description box for what I used and then we're going to jump into our Too Faced Chocolate Bar Palette and I'm first going to take my favorite shade in the palette which is Salted Caramel. I'm going to put that in an E40 brush and just blend it into my crease as my transition shade. You know I start all my looks this way by blending just a kind of soft to medium brown in the crease just to warm it up and give, give it some depth. So that's what we're doing first, just blending it back and forth and kind of messy and don't mind me while I take a call while I blend. <laughs> Um, yeah, so just blend that back and forth and then I'm gonna take this shade on an E25 This is called semi-sweet. It's either semi-sweet or milk chocolate But I'm just gonna put that on the outer corner first and kind of taper it into the crease But mainly focus it on the outer corner for this step And I'm basically just gonna do circular motions and kind of buff it and blend it on that outer corner And then I'm gonna take a little bit more product and put it on the inner corner of the eye and do just the same thing that I did on the outer corner but I am putting a little less product on the inner corner. Now I'm gonna take um, this white chocolate shade and pop that under my brow bone just to highlight. I chose a matte um, color to do this because we're doing a like very glittery shade on the lid so I wanted to keep it kind of toned down for the brow highlight. Now I'm gonna take this shade called Triple Fudge on this Sigma Exact Blend Brush and I'm basically just going to deepen the very outer corner of the eye with this and so I'm just gonna pop it on that outer corner and just kind of concentrate it right there and just blend it so it blends in with everything else but don't take it further than that very outer corner. You want to keep it right in that spot. And then I took my E25 to kind of further blend everything together and make sure it looked seamless. And then I'm going to go into this MAC Press Pigment. I'm pretty sure it's called Deeply Dashing. No, it's not. What is it called? Oh, Day Gleam, that's what it's called. So I'm taking Day Gleam on this concealer brush from Sigma and I wet it with Fix Plus first so that the pigment stays put on the eye. You definitely wanna use Fix Plus or some kind of wet thing to get, get this product to stick on your eye, but you guys know how much I love my MAC Press pigments. I have so many of them and I just love them so much. Like I think I like these more than the Stila Magnificent Metals Foil eyeshadows. I think they're just a lot easier to work with because the steel ones are like really really chunky and they're like wet already so I don't I don't know they're kind of messy so now I'm gonna take this L'Oreal smoldering eyeliner coal and I'm basically gonna just tight line my eyes and so that means just put it on like your upper waterline and this is going to um, like make your lashes look thicker and like cover the skin color up from your um, tight line and now I'm gonna take carbon from makeup geek on this angled liner brush from Sigma <laughs> I'm like drawing a blank here but yeah I'm basically gonna do my winged eyeliner with an eyeshadow instead of like a gel liner or anything because I want it to kind of be like soft and sultry and not as harsh so I'm basically just doing my winged eyeliner with an eyeshadow and carbon works I mean and corrupt works great for it because makeup geek eyeshadows are awesome now I'm going to take Smashbox Full Exposure Mascara and just coat my lashes quickly to prepare for false lashes. I really don't like this mascara, but when you're just using it to coat your lashes, it doesn't really matter which mascara you use. So just pick any and just quickly coat them to prep for falsies. And then the falsies we're using are these Makeup Academy Glamour Long and Lush Lashes, my new favorites. I absolutely love them. And so once the lashes are on, I'm going to take a makeup wipe and just clean off any glitter or any fallout that we got from the eyeshadow. Now for skin I'm gonna start with this Pores No More Pore Refiner Primer from Dr. Brandt and just pop that all over the skin to fill in any pores and kind of just smooth out your entire complexion just so that your foundation goes on a lot easier. And for foundation I decided to mix Estee Lauder Double Wear and YSL La Tente to Chaclat. I don't know I guess I was feeling really really fancy this day but I really like the way this turned out. The Double Wear kind of mats down the YSL and then the YSL kind of 
gives a little bit more life to the double wear and I have to say this combo lasted all night because I actually did go out this night so yeah it lasted all night and it really looked great it wasn't too like dewy or anything it was like a perfect match so I loved this combo and I put it on with my Sigma F80 and then I'm gonna use my NARS um, radiant creamy concealer in the shade vanilla to conceal and highlight under my eyes funny story about this one I thought I lost it for like the longest time but it turns out that my mom had basically taken it from me <laughs> and so now I have like basically no product in this but I was like using up whatever I have left because I love this stuff but my mom stole it for like months and I was like so pissed at her <laughs> But yeah, so I'm just doing that all over my face and then I'm going to blend it out with a damp beauty blender And I have to say this stuff is like a little bit tough to blend out So as you can see in a few seconds I actually take my beauty blender and spray it with a little bit more fix plus like off-camera and um, I just wet the beauty blender a little bit more so it was a little bit easier for this product to blend out but nonetheless I absolutely love this concealer and I think it looks great on the skin it just is a little bit thicker so it takes a little bit more work to blend out but it is a great concealer definitely worth the $30 so yeah I'm just blending all of that out it takes me forever to do but that's okay Now I'm going to take my Maybelline Fit Me Foundation Stick and I'm going to use this to cream contour my face because for a full on glamour look you definitely want to do some intense contouring. So I'm basically just going under my cheekbones, around my forehead, down the sides of my nose and under my lip and along my jawline, the normal places you would contour. And then I take a duo fiber brush from Sigma and I basically just blend this all out and this um, stick foundation is nice and affordable and blends out really nice. So I think it's a really great tool to like cream contour Especially for like beginners that don't want to spend a lot of money on any like contouring creams or whatever It's definitely like a good starting place. It's definitely the first product I've ever cream contoured with It's actually the only one I've ever cream contoured with but I really do like it So I'm just blending all of that out and as you can see it gives you a really nice Natural just like subtle well not subtle because it is pretty intense But it just really looks kind of natural and not as noticeable on the skin when you do cream contouring instead of powder well I'm actually gonna do both but yeah so then I took this soft blend concealer brush from Sigma and blended like around my nose and under my lip just because of those are smaller areas so I didn't want that big do a fiber brush to kind of get the product everywhere so I went in with a little bit smaller of a brush so that the product didn't like go where I didn't want it to so yeah just blending all of that out and then I'm taking my Anastasia Beverly Hills contour kit and I'm taking those two matte light Light shades from it and setting under my eyes setting that concealer um, with these two powders and my Sigma small tapered highlighter brush I think it's called yeah so I'm just packing that on so that the concealer doesn't move around or budge or crease or anything like that so we're just setting it in place and then I'm gonna take this contour shade with my real techniques contour brush and do the same thing with the cream contour just set it in place intensify it a little bit and just make sure that none of that cream moves around now now for blush, I chose this Bobbi Brown blush in the shade Slopes, and this is just because it's a nice neutral kind of muted pink tone. I didn't want anything too crazy on the cheeks because we've got so much going on in the rest of the face, so I just put that on with my F40 just to give a nice wash of pink on the cheeks. And then for highlighter, I'm using my Mary Luminizer from The Balm because this is the greatest highlighter, especially for nighttime. Like if you're going out, it just gives you like the best glow ever and uh, it's just so beautiful and I haven't used it in a while and I don't know why like ever since I took it out for this tutorial I've been using it but I had it in a while but I absolutely love it it's definitely my all-time favorite highlighter so now going back to the eyes I'm gonna take this Jordana eyeliner in I think it's called espresso last and it's just a nice brown shade and I'm just gonna put that in the waterline and then I'm gonna go back to the chocolate bar palette and take salted caramel on a pencil brush and blend out that lower lash line and kind of buff that color into the eyeliner we put down and just blend 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 under there you guys know how I feel about a smoky lower lash line my favorite thing ever <laughs> so then I went back into Mary Luminizer and just highlighted the inner corner of my eye very quickly just to bring some light to that inner corner and then I took that Smashbox full exposure mascara and just coated my bottom lashes with it to finish off the eyes. 
And now for, finally for lips, we're gonna take NYX Never Lip Liner, and we're just gonna line our lips. I actually meant to use Cabaret from NYX, which is a more red shade. It's a lot less purple and definitely like a more true wine color, but I don't know, I couldn't find it. I was really angry about it, but I figured this was the next best thing. You just kind of want a dark base to put under the dark lipstick that we're putting. So I just lined my entire lips, looked like a chola for a quick second, and then I filled them in completely so that the lipstick had something to stick to and it just really helps the longevity of your lipstick for the night. So once that was on, I went on with my Maybelline Divine Wine Matte Lipstick. Oh my god, this is like the prettiest lipstick ever. Oh my god, perfect for fall, perfect for winter and these creamy matte lipsticks from Maybelline are like literally the best matte lipstick formula ever. Like you put it on and you would think it's like a lip balm or something. They feel so amazing on the lips so then after that I just went around with a flat definer brush and a little bit of concealer just to kind of clean up the lip edge because I'm really sloppy when I do my lipstick I can't lie so I just went around and cleaned up the edges of my lips so that looked a little cleaner and that's basically it for the look I hope you guys enjoyed this one please give it a thumbs up if you do and subscribe to my channel if you're not already so you won't miss out any on on any new videos. I love you all so much and thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next one. Bye guys.